welcome to another episode of Conspiracy Decoded. I'm your host, Juice Jennings, a.k.a. The Street Killer. <laughs> My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Because I took that long walk to the pay window. I got the pay, the winner's purse. I got, uh, I might have got a bonus actually because that was probably match of the night. I'm t- of course talking about that five, six, seven man melee that happened last month at Revolt Pro. That seems to be the name of the game now, ladies and gentlemen. The tyrannical overlords to take me out, to snuff out my greatness and to to stop me from taking my rightful place at the tip top of the mountain of the pro wrestling industry. uh, industry. Um, Their new form of attack is basically to just put me in multi-man matches uh, with the... uh, They've definitely worked with everybody else in the match. They've probably greased the palms. They've had a little uh, team building exercises so they can all work together to cohesively eliminate the Juice Man. And while they haven't taken me out yet, I have not been able to get the victory, especially in Revolt Pro. In fact, let's take a look back at a couple of these last uh, matches that I've had over the last few months just to show that I'm right, just to prove my point here. Uh, we, of course, talked about all these before. We talked about the, the regular match I was supposed to have with Ox Haney, and they threw in Jaeger and made it a triple threat. And then I had a multi-man match with the uh, Combat Sport Pro joint show with the AWF over in uh, Seams, Alabama. That was supposed to be, a, I think, a fatal four-way. They made it f- a five or a six-way, I think. I don't even know who was in that match. And then, of course, last month at Revolt Pro, throwing me in, I think it was, again, supposed to be a fatal four-way and it ended up being, I think, five, there might have been eight or nine, ten guys in that match. I don't even remember anymore. It was kind of just a blur. But what I do remember is me sticking AK-47, he's another guy I'm going to talk about in a second, right on his head, putting him down with the Georgia Guidestones pile driver. That's my new my new finish that I plan on just taking over the world with. Getting the one, two, three, and breaking the losing streak that I've been working against at Revolt Pro for over three years. Ever since I came down here to the Gulf Coast, ever since, of course, you guys know the story. I faked my own kidnapping up in Ohio, the Great Lakes region. I came down here to escape assassination from the tyrannical overlords. Came down here to the Gulf Coast and had to start from scratch to start rebuilding my uh, street cred while still trying to keep my head down and fight this conspiracy because it is not just it's not just nationwide it's it's all across the world it's the flat earth I should say this is a worldwide conspiracy against Jewish Jennings and for the last three over the three years going on four years now at Revolt Pro again they're always getting one over on me and I can never leave with the W but that all changed last month so now we're looking forward to the next show And that's May 21st. It's actually this Saturday night. We're going back to the Gulf Coast Music Hole in Foley, Alabama. That dirty, rotten, stink hole of a city. Those dirty, redneck hillbillies in the crowd. And I'm going back. I'm planning on working on a new streak. It's not going to be a losing streak. That's for damn sure. It's going to be the start of a new streak because I got one win. And when I get another win this Saturday. That, my friends, is called a winning streak, and I'm going to keep that going. I'm going to add on to it over and over and over again, probably for the rest, for the, forever, until I hang up the boots, which is a long time from now. now I'm sure they're going to throw everything they got at me. They're probably going to, I don't even know what they're doing. What are they going to do? I don't even know. Let's look at that poster of the show coming up on the 21st. I'm not on it. What's up with that? It's like they don't like making money. They don't want to sell tickets. People will come out in droves for the Juice Man. And all you got to do is put my face on the poster. What are you guys doing? Well, I know what you're doing. You're trying to you're trying to basically bury me. Make people forget that I overcame the odds. I had my moment of glory last month. You don't want to talk about it. In fact, you don't want people to know I'm on the show at all. They haven't announced that I'm on the show. They haven't announced who I'm uh, wrestling or what I'm doing. I have no way to prepare, but this is all just par for the course, guys. This is, what do you expect at this point? This is what they do. But I'm walking in, again, I say this every time. And up until last month, I've, I've been wrong. But 
<laughs> just like last time, I'm walking in. No matter what they do, no matter how they stack the, get, the deck, no matter how many people they put against me, someone is getting dumped on their head with the Georgia Guidestones one more time. Or maybe I'll break some ankles with the ankle lock. You never know. I got a whole bunch of tricks up my sleeves. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, maybe you were hanging back. Maybe you didn't know I was going to be there. Well, I am. So now you go ahead and buy a ticket. I know it's actually just funding the tyrannical overlords, but if you're doing it to, to come see me and support the Juice Man and fight the conspiracy, that's okay. Get your ticket. Come to the Gulf Coast Music Hall this Saturday. And let's fight that conspiracy, baby. Juice Man is going. Two and eight. It's going to happen. Moving on, I want to talk about a couple things that are going on around the Gulf Coast uh, pro wrestling scene. A couple things that I just wasn't uh, aware of. And I just, I just became aware of it and I want to talk about it. I don't know where this happened. I don't know when it happened or where or how. But somehow, somewhere, Lucha LaCora, that dirty lizard person who I've talked about in previous episodes, he's a lizard person, has defeated Breslin, that little comic book nerd dork, and is the new Combat Sport Pro Junior Heavyweight Champion. When, when did this happen? Where did this go down? I've usually got my finger on the pulse of Gulf Coast professional wrestling. But this one, this one, I didn't see it coming. And I don't know where it happened. Again, if anyone knows, drop me a line. Let me know where this happened and how this went down. Maybe they didn't even have a match. Maybe uh, maybe Lucha LaCora threatened to, to eat Breslin's face because he's a lizard person and Breslin just gave him the title. Who knows? But all I got to say to Lucha LaCora is you are lucky, man. Woo-hoo, you are lucky that I have once again renounced my cruiserweight status. I got no interest in that gold. I've already had it. I had it forever. I'm the longest reigning junior heavyweight champion of combat sport pro history. The greatest cruiserweight of all time because I identified at 205, but I don't anymore. So for now, for the time being, you can just enjoy it. Also, something I want to talk about that I, I never, I didn't see this happen again. The tag team ranks. I usually don't talk about the tag team action that much. But it seems like we've got a new power player here in the tag division in the Gulf Coast region. And that is the Pride. I've seen these guys. I've seen them work. They're a talented duo. But I didn't I don't know when this happened. I turn around and all of a sudden they are the Combat Sport Pro tag team champs. It was the uh the Rapture, but they have broken up. And they're also the Revolt Tag Champs. So they're they're holding double gold right now. And I think the Rapture was the, the champ there as well. So they had a big falling out. And they just lost they lost all their titles. And now the, the Pride has moved in and they're holding all the gold. So at the moment I don't have any uh interest in, in looking at the tag team uh tag team division. So you guys got Nothing to worry about from Juice Jennings, but I am always on the lookout for dedicated soldiers to fight the conspiracy and the coming revolution. So I see you, I'm aware, and let's just leave it at that for now. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap it up with that. Again, get your tickets for the Gulf Coast Music Hall this Saturday night, May 21st. Juice Jennings is coming, and I got my eyes on the prize. Nothing can stop me. I've got that sweet taste of victory, and I want... A second helping. And it ain't gonna be a coincidence. It's a conspiracy, Daddy!